Hi guys, this is Sasha from netbooknews.com and what I would like to show you is a little bit the evolution of EPC netbooks in just the last, I think, about nine months, right? Because that's mm -hmm. when we got this EPC 1005 HA that was running the Intel Atom N450 one gigabyte of RAM, 250 gigabyte, Windows 7. It's always the same, right? We're getting so used to these specs. So it's kind of hard to position your netbook as a manufacturer on this market and to be a little bit different. And what I would like to show you is uh, pretty much the company that defines the netbook or defined the netbook form factor with the EPC line, how they changed the EPC product series in just over nine months because I think it's absolutely amazing what you're getting for your money right now. Um, this EPC 1005 HA, that was $349 when it came to the market and that was a single core Intel Atom and it was running our I think uh, what's this battery like uh, I have no clue right now um, this is definitely a 6 cell battery it's a 63 watt hour battery so with the Intel Atom N450 it should run easily easily for some 8 to 10 hours Easily, even though I think Asus is always claiming like 13 hours, you know, forget about it. Please. I think they only got about eight out of it. In that yeah, 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 yeah. That's well, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident with eight hours, yeah. Nicole. Yeah, um, uh, I like it. It had, it had a, a matte finish on the lid that was already pretty decent. It's kind of heavy, of course, also due to this high capacity 6 cell battery, and it's, it's uh, kind of thick. Too, even though they're already using um, the seashell design for this device. So you know what, let's open it and you will see what I'm talking about. Uh, you see immediately this glossy screen, right? Hello guys. And our the webcam over here, uh, we have a non shiklet keyboard. It was kind of bending. Can you see that? That this is bending around and uh, we have very small trackpad, pretty small single mouse button. And in general, even though this is already a pretty decent keyboard, um, I would still prefer a chiclet keyboard. So let's take a look at the next generation. This is um, the EPC 1015 PEM. This is an Intel Atom N550, that means a dual core system. It also has a 1 GB of RAM, a 250 GB hard disk drive, and yes, you name it, Windows 7 Starter Edition. But the difference are really significant. First of all, it's, it's way lighter. Well, I have to admit that it also only comes with a 56 watt hour battery. But still, you will easily get the same battery life out of this one, even though this one is running a dual core system right now. But Intel didn't even just squeeze uh, two cores into the package. Um, they really worked on how quickly it went into idle mode. So um, power consumption for, for the, the TDP for the overall platform is higher. You're still getting more battery life out of a smaller battery. Um, again, a matte lid, but let's let's take a look from the side, right? I think it's way it's way thinner. If we compare this, can you see the difference mm -hmm. in the design? Right, it got way thinner, and now let's open this because you now I like companies that are really listening. Because uh, especially on our, on our uh, netbook news site, we did a couple of our articles asking our readers about, you know, what would you like to change on a netbook? And uh, we especially did a, uh, something like this for ASUS. And about 90% of the people told us we want to have a non-glossy display. ASUS obviously delivered. So good job that they finally got it. And it, it is just great for... Uh, working on your netbook while you're outside in the bright sunlight, no problem anymore with uh, reflections or uh, kind of mirror effects. And look, they even have a shutter for the webcam right now. Everything feels way more worthy, right? Like more expensive. Look at the keyboard. They are using a chiclet keyboard and it's a really, really good one. Nothing bends over here anymore. Uh, I have to admit they have pretty small left, right uh, a, a left and right shift keys, but I'm really sure that you can get used to it. Very decent big tap key and also an enter key over two rows. I really like that. So if we compare this, for example, to the keyboard of the previous version, which already, well, it had 
very large shift keys but uh, this is a chiclet keyboard and I tell you what it's way easier to type on the chiclet keyboard and let's compare the trackpad size look at this I would say this is like about 30% bigger at least because also the I think the palm rest is also way deeper can you see that so this is at least 30% bigger and uh, same with the single mouse button it's also way bigger right now and again the finish over here everything is glossy right while we have here a matte palm rest I really like that you know what Asus uh, if, if, you, if you keep on evolving your platform I would definitely recommend also getting rid of this glossy bezel around it because you still have some reflections in the bezel while everything else is matte uh, but still what you're getting right now because this is also $349 you're getting a, a, a dual core Intel Atom N550 EPC 1015PM uh, for $349 a fantastic build quality matte screen uh, great design very thin um, but even but even between the two, um, I had to plug in external speakers on the H8 in order to listen to TV shows or movies. Okay. But on the PEM, I could play them no problem. So I mean, like even the speaker quality is improved on this model. That's absolutely yeah. fantastic. Uh, well, there there's still there's still some room for improvement. I would love to see an, uh, an HD screen oh, in there. Oh, that'd be nice. Uh, at least 1280 by 720p or or 1366 by 768. And guys, I tell you what, you would just create the perfect netbook. You, you, you're coming very, very close to this. And in terms of pricing, I can't see any platform that is competitive right now. I mean, we also have the Acer Aspire 1 uh, Happy Series and the D255. Might be a little bit less expensive. But I tell you what, it also comes with a, a glossy screen, uh, with a lower capacity battery in there and a different keyboard and a shiny glossy lid so I think this uh, 1015 p.m. is a fantastic netbook and you know what if there wouldn't be a 1015 p.m. because I think that's a, also a really cool one with the uh, iron 2 this would be my pick of the year mm -hmm. in terms of netbooks I would even prefer it right now for this price over any Samsung netbook because you can save about 50 bucks to a Samsung, for example, especially an MF310, which is over 400 bucks. But this one comes also with, a, with an HD display. Anyways, what you can see in just nine months, the EPC line really evolved and developed. So good job, Asus. You're definitely getting two thumbs up from me. Really, you know, taking care of the netbook form factor. Um, Sasha for netbooknews.com. This is the EPC 1005HA, and that's the 1015PM. Thanks for watching.